Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a big Sephora haul for all of you. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am in Canada these days, so I have access to Sephora, which is awesome and great and so exciting. And recently, Sephora had their 20% off sale. I believe it was in the last week of August. And I did pick up quite a few products so i just wanted to share those products with you and if you want to see what all i picked up then please continue watching the first product that i got is this shoe omera eyelash curler and it looks like this now this curler is very very famous a lot of people say that the curves of this uh, curler is perfect and it just covers all your lashes at once so this is what the eyelash curler actually looks like so I have tried this a couple of times and to be very honest, I just feel like this is one of those regular eyelash curlers. This is good but I am yet to see um, that effect. So I will keep using this and let you all know if it's worth trying or investing your money in. So this is what it looks like and it does not have that uh, spring, you know, which some of the lash curlers have and I for some reason prefer that springy lash curler. I don't know. I was using one by Vega for the longest time and I really liked it. It had that spring but this one does not have and I mean it is okay and let's see. Next I picked up a foundation by Becca and it is their new launch and this is called Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation and this is what the outer packaging looks like and I have used this a couple of times after buying it and I must say I quite like it. This is like your medium coverage foundation that is very very natural looking and you can easily blend it with your fingers. It does not uh, enhance your dry patches. It will give you like a very very natural looking healthy skin. This is what the tube looks like and I got it in the shade tan and it also comes with a pump so it is very very handy. You can travel with it. It is very hygienic. You get 35 ml of product and it also says that this is infused with glow nectar brightening complex. Now I'm not really sure what that means but overall I do like this foundation. I think this gives a very very pretty natural finish. Let me just swatch it and show you guys. So this is the shade tan and this is what the swatch of the foundation looks like. The best part of this foundation is that you can blend it easily even with your fingers which is something I really really prefer especially when you are in a hurry and you don't really want to wet your beauty blender or grab a clean brush then it becomes really important for me to pick up a foundation that I can easily put on my face and just blend with my fingers so this one definitely is perfect for that purpose. Next I picked up another foundation which is by IT Cosmetics and this is their Your Skin But Better CC Plus color correcting full coverage cream with SPF of 50 plus. This is what it looks like and I got this in the shade medium tan. Now I have used this CC cream before. I have used those little tiny samples that you get in Sephora. I tried the shade medium sorry I tried the shade medium tan and tan but tan was a little deeper than my skin tone therefore I went with this shade medium tan and this one is a great great foundation don't get fooled by the name CC cream this is like your perfect medium coverage foundation it is going to kind of hide all your redness most of your blemishes your scars and all that and still gives you a very very pretty natural looking glowy skin again you can blend it easily with your fingers which is great the packaging is very very similar to the Becca packaging so both of these come in this uh, tube and they both have pumps to them which is very very convenient and very very easy to use and also since this has SPF of 50 plus you can easily skip your sunscreen if you have to if you're in a hurry you can just put this and this will work as your foundation as your sunscreen and everything so this is like a multi-use product Alright, so the next product is this Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan and this is one product 
that I really, really wanted, but it was always out of stock, even online or in the stores. But one fine day, I got lucky and this was in stock at the store. So I picked it up and I also got a discount, which is awesome. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is super pretty, I must say. It is very, very sleek and it's white in color. So it gives that really high end finish or look to the product and the shade is called Tantastic. It is a matte bronzer and when you open it, this is a little flap that you get and then you get like a really big nice size mirror and this is the product. So initially when I bought it, I, I mean of course I really wanted it but I wasn't sure if this product will show up on my skin or not because I have mostly seen fairer skin toned people on YouTube using this so I was unsure but to my surprise it does show up and it looks really pretty and really really natural it blends in very well and yeah I think this is a great product you can use it as your contour you can also use it as a bronzer it's it has that cool tone to it so it can easily be used as your contour product as well it smells really good i wouldn't say it smells like coconut but it does smell really delicious and tempting all right then next i have urban decay uh, eye pencils i got four of these i got the shade whiskey then i got the shade torch sabbath and alkaline let me open these and show you the swatches now these 24 cross 7 lip liners sorry eyeliners are very very famous on youtube so i wanted to try these when i swatched these in the store these were super creamy and very very pigmented so i bought four of these i just couldn't resist and also these come in like ton of shades they have some shimmer shades some matte shades they also have a black charcoal gray green pink white they have like a really huge variety and a huge shade range so this is what the pencils look like these are color coded which means that the outer packaging corresponds to the color that's inside so if you have more than one like i have four it will be very very easy to for me to find out which one i want to use so this shade sabbath is a matte navy blue color like a really really dark midnight blue i would say this is how the shade sabbath looks like torch is your really pretty brick shade i think this will be great when you have like a lot of warmth on your eyes you can just use this on your waterline i think this torch shade will be really pretty for that the shade whiskey is your cool toned brown so if you don't want something black on your eyes if black makes your eyes look very very stark then you can go for a shade like this and the last shade I picked up is called Alkaline and this is your burgundy shade. This will be so great for the winter or for the fall season. I absolutely love the shade burgundy. I also recently got a bag, a burgundy colored bag. So yeah, I am really into this color these days. Next, I got a highlighter from NARS and this is their highlighting powder. And I got the shade for the fronts. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's a French word. I'm not really sure. But when I swatched it in store, I really loved the formula. It is very, very soft, but it is not one of those chunky or one of those glittery highlighters that just kind of, you know, look all over the place and they don't really look good in person. This is one of those subtle, everyday type of highlighter that you can use and it just will give you like a very very natural looking glowy skin this is what the outer packaging looks like it is their regular matte black packaging that looks really sleek and really really pretty and let me open it and show you it also comes with a mirror and this is what the highlighter looks like it feels so soft when you touch it this is like a really subtle, beautiful, everyday kind of highlighter and I'm super excited to start using it. Then I got a loose powder from Cover FX and it's their perfect setting powder in the shade Translucent Light. Now I have heard people saying that this powder is great for 
dry under eyes and I do have dry under eyes so I wanted to pick this up but I picked up the the smaller size because I already have like a lot of loose powders and I don't go through them very very quickly because I don't like to bake my under eyes so I just need to use a teeny tiny bit whenever I'm using it which is why I went for the smaller size so you still get four grams of product and this is what the inside looks like now I have used it a couple of times and I must say this is a beautiful powder and it does not dry out your under eyes so I'm really really happy with my purchase next I bought another loose powder but this is different from your regular loose powders this is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder glow version and this is a new product Laura Mercier has a baking like a loose powder and then this one is the glow version now I basically bought it so that I could use it all over my face just to give my face like a really nice natural glow you can use it also as a highlighter on the high points of your face you can use it all over your face it just gives you this beautiful luminous looking skin it is a beautiful beautiful powder let me give you a swatch I picked up the shade translucent it also comes in another shade that is medium or medium deep that is slightly darker than the shade translucent so this is what the powder looks like when you blend it it gives such a pretty glowy look without looking very over the top or without looking too artificial so I really love this powder and I'm so glad that I bought the glow version instead of the, the loose powder version because like I said I have a lot of loose powders already Next I got another foundation and this is the Huda Beauty 4 filter foundation. I got it in the shade 400G Macchiato. It comes in this plastic bottle but the packaging is really beautiful, feels very very luxe and this one is still new because I haven't tried it yet. Now when I swatched it in the store 400G I thought that this would match me but I haven't tried it on my face after coming back from the store so I don't know if this is a good match or not but I am planning to try it and then post or like film a video of uh, my review of this and I know that people say this is not good for dry skin but I just want to try it because I've heard that this is very 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 full coverage and I have like a lot of problematic places or areas on my face I have a lot of blemishes a lot of scars so I was really really intrigued by this foundation which is why I picked this up so hopefully I will do a review soon next I got Okay, I got another loose powder and this is by Hourglass and it's called their Whale Translucent Setting Powder and in this one you only get 2 grams whereas in the cover FX one you get 4 grams of product anyways. Uh, let's open it. So this is what it looks like. I haven't used it yet but I have heard people saying that this is again great for dry skin people and it will not dry out your under eyes at all. So this is still new, I have to use it. And I believe this only comes in one shade. Yeah, this only comes in one shade. The trans I wouldn't say this is translucent. This is like slightly yellow in color. So it wouldn't look too stark on like brown skin. Next I bought a lip product. Now this is the only lip product that I bought because I have a lot of lip products already. But I picked this up because I really really love the formula of Sephora lip stains. I mean I'm wearing one of the shades today and it is so comfortable and so long lasting. I really love the formula and I think if you have to pick up one thing from Sephora it could be these lip stains. These are beautiful, amazing and not very expensive when you compare it with the prices of other brands that you get in Sephora. Anyways, this is um, cream lip stain in metallic version. So this is basically a metallic liquid lipstick from the same range and I really like the color. This is like your beautiful metallic red shade. And this is not your overly metallic lipstick. This has like a really beautiful, a very subtle metallic finish. And I loved the color. Okay, let's see what else I have. Oh, okay. I picked up Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions Mini Palette. Now, I wanted to pick up one of her bigger palettes, but those are hell expensive. And 
I see mixed reviews on YouTube like some people really like that palette but then there are people who say that it is not worth its high price tag I don't know but I have heard really good reviews about this the smaller palettes and I picked up the coral one and these are all the shades very very vibrant very very beautiful I have used it once on my eyes and these blend in really well and even though they are pigmented they don't go patchy and you get nine shades which is cool because when you look at the packaging you might think that it is a quad or something but you get nine full shades and two of these are shimmers and rest of them are mattes let me swatch a couple of these these shadows don't have any names they are just like yeah just shadows without any names so these are some of the swatches let me swatch one of the shimmer shades as well okay yeah so this is the shimmer shade so i think this is a really nice formula and if you don't want to invest a lot of money on one of a bigger palettes get these ones okay now let's see what else do we have in the bag okay this is a liquid blush by nars in the shade torrid so this is how the packaging looks this is super super cute it is such a tiny little a bottle of blush and it is a liquid blush it has a very very liquidy consistency and the shade is a very beautiful coral shade that is not too corally but looks very very natural and will give you a beautiful flush of color it lasts for a really long period of time and also you can blend it with your fingers with a beauty blender and look at the shade this is a really pretty one okay now let's see what else do we have I think yeah there are just two more products left so I picked up this recent launch by Milk Makeup and it is their Kush Mascara High Volume I picked up the smaller tube because I wanted to test it out so this is what the mascara looks like and it is pretty heavy like this is not I don't think this is made of plastic I don't know because it is very very heavy you get 4 ml in the small tube now let me see what the claims are it says unique heart shaped fibers thicken lashes for long lasting volume length and curl catches curls and coats a pure pigment intense black formula for defined clump free lashes so i haven't used it yet because i'm still using my other mascaras that are open but i'm super excited to try it because i have almost invisible lashes and anything that can make my lashes visible or voluminous or long i am all for that mascara the next product i got is this nars soft matte complete concealer and this is the one that comes in a tub form they also have one called radiant creamy concealer that comes in a longer tube and it's a liquid one but this one is a cream concealer and I got the shade ginger medium 2 and this is what it looks like so I think I can use this as my spot concealer or as my like like my shade concealer to hide my blemishes and scars and all that again it comes in that same matte black packaging their standard NARS packaging and how much do you get you get 6.2 grams of product in this all right now coming to the last product of this entire haul and the most expensive one as well this is the tatcha the silk canvas filter finish protective primer and this is what the outer packaging looks like now although it is very very expensive i have heard or seen on youtube people raving about this product and although it is a new launch i've seen people hitting pan on this so i was really really intrigued and really really curious to know how this product works on my skin and i got 20 percent off so it is still better than paying the full price yeah so when you open it you get this drawer like you get this flap that you have to pull out and when you pull it out you get your product inside that i've taken out and then you also get this coin like thing and you're supposed to scoop out the product using this coin it comes in this packet and i've already opened it and this is what the product looks like so the packaging is really really pretty very beautiful it feels very luxurious and when you open it you have your 
silk canvas or your primer whatever it is like your salmon pink colored product so i am super excited to try it out and see if it makes any difference to my skin all right so those were all the things that i picked up from sephora during their 20 percent off sale i really hope that you like this haul and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video and also click on the bell button that you see next to the subscribe button i believe and when you do that you will be notified every time i upload a video i hope that you enjoyed this haul and i will see you all very very soon in my next video till then take care and bye